Thank you very much for tuning to our channel today. I want to talk about uh, Plummer Vinson syndrome. Recently I saw a patient 48 years old uh, in my clinic and this patient has dysphagia and glossitis. And what should I think when a patient comes with dysphagia and glossitis? That's going to be my topic today. Plummer Benson syndrome, a very important disease because we see people with this problem. Plummer Benson syndrome is basically the triad. There are three things in it. Number one, dysphagia. Number two, glossitis. Number three, anemia. This disease is uh, named after two American physicians. Number one is Henry Stanley Plummer, and uh, number two is a surgeon again an American surgeon Paisley Benson. These two physicians discovered this problem so their name stuck to it. These patients complain of a burning sensation in the oral mucosa and also burning sensation over the tongue. That's the, basically the inflammation of the tongue and we call, this, we call it glossitis. The tongue takes a form of a smooth shiny surface on the dorsum. Then they have a dysphagia, the painful swelling, we call it a vadinophagia. And uh, they also develop a, a glossitis, as I said, a smooth tongue that's called atrophic glossitis. Some of them there's angular stomatitis. And when we see these patients, we need to think, what is causing dysphagia here? If you do an upper endoscopy, you will see the webs, the esophageal webs. So when you see esophageal webs, you think of this, this syndrome. And these patients have iron deficiency anemia, which causes microcytic hypochromic anemia. And if you take a biopsy of the mucosa, it reveals epithelial atrophy. So there is epithelial atrophy and uh, chronic inflammation, and uh, many times, you see that stomatitis associated with chelitis. There are, uh, so basically, plumber Vincent syndrome, it can have nutritional deficiencies or genetic factors. The typical patient, as I saw, is a patient in the Middle Ages. So I saw a Middle Ages patient with this condition recently. And uh, it was a very insightful thing because this patient came with uh, dysphagia glossitis and when I did her CBC and checked her uh, iron levels there is low ferritin so you see a very classic finding low ferritin iron deficiency I started her on uh, iron tablets and she got better on iron tablets so plumber Benson syndrome is the treatment is you just give the iron and many of them get better if they don't you need to do endoscopy and dilate those esophageal webs to correct the dysphagia and the prognosis is these patients respond very well to treatment you need to uh, iron supplement them give iron and that resolves the anemia and that corrects plus uh, uh, glossitis and that corrects the odinophagia and there is always the risk of uh, squamous cell carcinoma they have increased risk of uh, squamous cell carcinoma of the esophagus that's why plumber Benson syndrome is seen as a pre-malignant process because it could be a precursor for a future squamous cell carcinoma what you can do to prevent this is encourage good nutrition. In developing nations, it's not a problem, but if you see a plumber Benson syndrome, think about what risk factors this patient has for cancer, because many of these people get squamous cell carcinoma in the future. And then when you see iron deficiency anemia in these patients, think of other causes. Is this patient losing any blood in their gastrointestinal tract? Could this patient uh, be having any kind of uh, malignant process like intestinal cancer and losing the blood? So 
this World Cup is important and if you do not see good response to iron supplementation you should go and do some endoscopic work like upper endoscopy, EGD and colonoscopy to rule out the exact cause of iron deficiency anemia. So I wanted to share that with you because just last week I saw a patient with this. Many times when we see syndromes we think not a big deal, probably I never see this, but I saw a patient came and the patient said I am having difficulty swallowing food, I can't eat my chicken, I can't eat my uh, hamburger and uh, she said I'm having a lot of uh, pain all over my mouth, I'm having uh, pain over the tongue, the tip of my tongue is hurting and I used to have some anemia in the past. So when I heard to her story, I got the triad. There is this dysphagia, and there is this anemia, there is this uh, uh, glossitis. Please read about it and also visit us at uh, our website www.drpaul.org that is www.drpaul.org We have posted hundreds of videos for your uh, benefit. Thank you very much.